it started um, on just uh, about a week before Thanksgiving. That's when our heat went out. Full Circle Nutrition owner Kyle Ingalls says he contacted the JMS building manager, John Friedline, several times. He's waited for repairs ever since, even closing twice because it was too cold. And then, um, as you can see from like the ceiling tile damage, we had a lot, a lot of leaks. And I'm not just talking like maybe a bucket, you know, just like a drip. Um, it was a very large amount of water coming down from our ceiling to where I had to cancel class that day. I like to say they uh, put band-aids on some things that needed stitches. Alfonso Mark owns Linden Grill, also on the ground level of JMS. It wasn't easy um, running a business with water leaks, you know, in the front of the house, the back of the house. We never knew what we was going to have here in the morning. We saw this man leaving the building today with a cart full of pipes. He told me Friedline asked him to scrap metal from the inside. But through all the frustration, Mark and Ingalls say they believe in this building, set to be renovated into commercial, retail, and office space, and 52 apartments. They also believe in downtown South Bend. It's definitely excited about you know, the apartments and hotels across the street, and so so much livelihood coming to downtown. The things that I hear happening with downtown as a whole in this two-block radius with the two-way streets, the Chase Tower, this building, the uh, LaSalle Hotel, I mean, I'm excited. Currently owns the building, according to county land records. Friedline has been involved with JMS for many years and is one of the trust's members. Indiana Land Trust is in the process of selling the building to Great Lakes Capital, but that sale hasn't closed yet. I'm told it's very close. Just last week, South Bend's Redevelopment Commission approved the 790,000 tax increment finance dollars to help with those renovations. And Kelly, you reached out to Friedline today. I did. I called his cell, but I haven't heard back. He apparently got my message, though because he called one of the tenants in his building and asked them not to do an interview with me. Mm. Wow. Kelly, thank you. Mm -hmm. well, local